Hello everybody and welcome back to the Jurassic Park podcast here on YouTube. I am Brad Jost, the host of the Jurassic Park podcast. And today we're going to be looking at the Concavenator here from the Dino Rivals toy line. This item right here was sent to us directly from Mattel. Thank you so, so much to everybody over at Mattel for sending us this awesome item included in this awesome Dino Rivals uh, exclusive box set here with a few different items. The first item that we're going to be reviewing here is the Concavenator Dual Attack. This thing is so cool. Now myself, I'm sure like many of you were very, very excited when this thing popped up. The images surfaced and I'm like, that's really cool. That sculpt is so awesome. It's something completely different and new from the Jurassic World toy line. It replicates one of the statue dinosaurs that we saw inside Lockwood's mansion. This thing is so cool. It has a dual attack feature, which is really cool. You have the tail attack here, and then of course the chomping feature up here in the front. Now you might remember in the uh, unboxing video, I mentioned that this thing looked really, really interesting in the initial um, images that were floating out online. The I think it was a bit brighter in color, so I wasn't really in love with it, but this here in my house right now looks awesome. Now uh, the color scheme is much darker than I anticipated. It's got a lot of different coloring up in here and on the tail as well. I think they did some great work here. But before we dive into this creature here, I want to start on the packaging itself. Now, um, this is the new Dino Rivals packaging. I'm sure you've probably seen this stuff floating around online or in your stores. Um, it features this awesome Jurassic logo back here, which you can see also down here on this giant box. It has the Dino Rivals logo with the T-Rex, the Triceratops, which is a theme that they have going on. Kind of like a battle theme, which is really awesome. These Dino Rivals essentially will go to battle against each other and they have these awesome collector cards that you can like match up the strengths and, and all the weaknesses and all that stuff so it's really really cool that they have these features um, specifically for you to battle and I think that's a great feature something that they should be playing up with these toys because they're gonna be fun to battle now we also have Owen on here okay I mean I guess they had to include him unfortunately I wish they would just leave him off um, I think, I think these things are going to sell perfectly fine on their own because of how good they look, how good this packaging looks. I just wish they left him off, you know, or, or put Claire on the other side or, or something, you know, put a bad guy over there maybe. Um, I think it would have been interesting to have somebody else maybe. Um, but I understand the reasoning why you have Owen on there. They want to sell toys. They want to, um, put the face of the franchise on there, even if Claire is the, uh, you know, the main protagonist. Um, we constantly get Owen. So up here you have the different attack features. You do have the tail swipe right there, and then you have the chomping feature in here. Um, it's pointing to the different buttons. You get the Jurassic World logo, dual attack, like I said. One thing I did want to point out is the awesome look of the packaging. You know, you have the logo, which looks great, but then you have like this scratchy metal design, which I really, really like that metal aesthetic. And then you also have this interesting like honeycomb pattern down here, which is really cool. So let's get a closer look at that. Oh man, look at this thing. It looks so good against that background. I think that's one of the best features of this artwork is that it stands out really, really well against the background. So we also have Dino Rivals on the side. On this side you have Jurassic World logo. And now let's take a look at the back. You got, again, the Jurassic World logo. And uh, don't forget that you can also add these to your Jurassic Facts app right here. You can see the design there. They actually changed the coloring to reflect the new updated version, so that's really cool. Um, so you can scan the foot of this dinosaur, add it to your Jurassic Facts app to go amongst your collection. Now we also do have a collector's card in here, which you can see right here, which is really cool. I love that they have it, you know, showing through the packaging. That's awesome. And on the bottom down here, we have the Triceratops and the uh, Parasaurolophus. Um, both looking very cool. I'm loving this Triceratops, actually. I hope to find that sometime soon because I never picked up any of the bigger Triceratops pieces. I didn't really love the color job on that last one, but this one looks a little more natural to me, so I'm really liking that. Um, and then let's see what else do we have here. We have a little image of the tail strike 
kind of uh, swiping against the Draco Rex. Very cool. Um, and it's showcasing the different motion there. You have the Concavenator, Chomp, Tail Strike, and a lot of different other information along the edges. So one of the things I wanted to point out here is this perforated edge. This is something I haven't really noticed before in a Jurassic item. So I think it has to do probably with the collector's card over here so it's you can uh, easily get it out. Even though it does stop right here so it doesn't go up that far. So I guess maybe you just push it over. You know what? Why don't I stop guessing and let's just go ahead and do this thing right. Proving to be a little difficult to peel that tab, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to stick this knife in there, and kind of pry it a little bit more. There we go. Just be careful if you're using a knife or something like this. You don't wanna cut yourselves. That's it. I feel like it just like messed up the packaging for no reason. Um, anybody else know why that would happen? You just be able to pull this out? No, that's not really working all that well. So, I don't know what the point is. I guess, so you can undo those tabs? I don't know. So that was fairly easy to take out. All you had to do, aside from uh, all that mess in the back, was just remove those two tabs, that's it. So I just undid all the tape on there and then we come to realize that it is taped uh, down, so I wouldn't have been able to pull that out anyway. So again, I'm not really sure what the point of all this was. Didn't really do too much aside from just mess up the back, even though I'm gonna throw it out anyway. I just like to be careful opening these things just in case. But then we have this taped down, so I hope this doesn't mess up the card. Well, let's find out, I guess, right? Okay, so it is safe and sound. The tape did not peel any of the card. That is a good thing. I'm sure they tested out the different tapes to make sure that it didn't peel anything off because that would be a travesty if these awesome cards were just destroyed like that. But we're good. So let's actually just continue looking at the card for a second here. We have Concavenator up on the top. We have this awesome rendition of the Concavenator. That's really, really cool. I'm liking that artwork. You know, it's very simple. It's very um, defined as to what it is and it definitely speaks Jurassic. That's really cool. I like the design in the background as well. Also, it looks like you do have the um, radio tower maybe and a bunker there with the trees and the uh, mountains in the back. That's a really cool piece of art. I'm liking that a lot. And also wanted to take a look at the different attributes here. You have a seven for strength, a seven for speed, a six for intelligence, and a six for aggression. So this is a fairly good one, I'd, I'd assume. I mean, if I was gonna take this thing into battle, I'd be pretty happy with that. I mean, a seven's good, um, a six is decent. So, you know, we're, we're almost middle of the road there for those last two. So make sure to pin it up against something that it can certainly take into battle. Now, we also do have a 26 here in the bottom corner and then a Jurassic World logo. And then on the back, we have the Dino Rivals logo and the Jurassic World logo. So this is very cool. I'm liking this little piece. It's like um, more like a card game versus a collector uh, trading card type deal. So that's very cool though. I, I am very happy with this. All right, so I've got my phone out. Why don't we actually just go ahead and give this thing a scan here just to make sure everything works smoothly. There we go. Dino Rivals. There she is, the Concavenator. See, the coloring here looks, I feel like a little bit more what surfaced online initially. It's more of a, like a, a different green. Her fossils were found in Spain by paleontologists Ortega, Escaso, and Sands. Her powerful legs allow her to reach speeds of over 23 miles per hour. It is believed that she can only run in rapid short sprints. Let's go ahead and take a listen. All right, so let's actually dive into taking a look at this 
awesome, awesome piece. Again, thank you so much, Mattel, for sending me this item. I am so grateful that you chose the Jurassic Park podcast to showcase some of these awesome items. I'm not kidding. These things are really, really cool. I'm in love with them already. Uh, starting off with this awesome paint job, you have the dark green here. Nothing too special with that. It's just a darker green. And then you have the brown here, the patterning under the sail. And then over here, it transitions into a gold pattern. Uh, and then also you have this interesting purple that kind of fades in and out on top here. That's really, really cool. I wasn't expecting that, but uh, I think it looks really, really great. And then you also have this tan underneath here, the red over the eye, and then the yellow eye with the slit. Um, and of course the pinkish kind of flesh color inside there. So with the motion, you do have that like we showcased before in the box. Nice little motion there, that's cool. And then you also have the chomping feature here. Very easy, both very easy to use. You can press them with one finger. On the body here, you do have quite a few protrudences. So you got four of them back here and a bunch over here. And of course, along the top of the head. I'm really liking uh, the design choices here with the scaly arms and, and the bottoms of the legs. But then you also have this kind of leathery look up in here. Very cool. The other side is much of the same, same coloring pattern there. Everything looks good. Not noticing anything I'm disliking at all here. I think this is a great, great design. It's a quick look at the underside. You can tell it kind of just fades in and out there with the um, tan pattern and then the inside of the mouth. And then you also have like a little screw hole or something up there. I don't know. Now let's take a look at some of the motion on this dinosaur. You have the regular motion here in the legs this um, up and down feature here on the arm as well as the swivel. There you have the motion of the jaw, very good. Uh, some great chomping motion. And on the back, here you have the motion of the tail. So that's good, that's great. I'm loving this feature so far. I'm loving some of these new features with the dual attacks, that's great. I'm loving that there's different ways to play. You know, they're, they're giving you different ways to play with the card down here, the collector's card for the battle. You have the dual attack, so you can choose which creature is the fiercest in battle. I think it's great that they're doing that. Um, and these are some vicious looking dinosaurs. So I did want to showcase it against the potential foe here, something that's very similar in size, the Allosaurus. Now this is from the um, Roar Vor line from the initial stuff uh, that Mattel produced. You have the same biting motion, but this one actually roars. This does not roar, that's fine, this is a different item. But I just wanted to give you a sense of what you're looking at with the size comparison here, the Allosaurus versus the Concavenator. There you go. So there you have it. I think this is a truly wonderful piece from Mattel. I am just blown away. This is, of course, one of the initial items that I really needed to pick up. I'm loving this product so far. It's definitely going to be a prized possession on my shelf along with some of these other dinosaurs. This, again, is from the Dino Rivals toy line, and they have sent it to us directly. So thank you so, so much, Mattel, for reaching out sending us this awesome box. This thing is so good. If you guys did not see that video, we have a full unboxing of everything inside there. Just go back, I'll put the video in the link below. So of course, like all the other videos, I wanna know what do you think of the Concavenator? Are you picking this thing up? Do you like the color choice on here? I think it looks great. Loving the sculpt, loving the look of this dinosaur and also the play features here with the dual attack. I think it's fantastic. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think. Make sure to go to JurassicParkPodcast.com to find all of our information there. You can find, of course, our awesome podcast featuring so many great contributors here on the podcast. Thank you so, so much for watching this review and enjoy.